hello friends so in this video we are going to uh, discuss about how to create a spring boot application and uh, run it down in uh, eclipse so uh, there is two way um two way to create spring boot application so the first one is to create through maven so the steps will be like uh, uh, first create a maven project and add the required dependencies of spring boot uh, to to uh, um, to make the project uh, run as a, as a Spring Boot project, and the second step is to create uh, the Spring Boot application from the Spring provided uh, initializer up web applications uh, application or you can say a web tool. Uh, so so we'll discuss the latter uh, latter step because it is pretty much simpler and uh, does not require much uh, details regarding Marvin so we'll, we'll go by the second stage uh, the second step uh, by uh, by which we can create uh, we, we can take the help of the spring initialize to create our web application so let me um let me go to the spring or uh, go to the spring initialize uh, uh, web tool so this is basically a web application uh, provided by spring to create uh, create spring boot application so here this is the this is the web application or you can say the tool to create a spring boot application so the first uh, this is the project build tool we can use so we can select radel or maven so let me select maven because i will be um will be creating the project using the build tool maven and uh, this is the language in which language you can uh, you can uh, you have to you will create the application so for our case it will be java so this is the spring boot version so you can see there is multiple version the snap search and the stable releases also so the current stable release is 3.1.3 because so so that it's uh, automatically selected so now the third a third required thing is the project metadata so um this is the group id it's uh, related to the maven so this is the group id which is a required field for creating um any project so this is basically the group or the company name uh, or uh, the entity name you can say so let me give uh, jtc uh, g uh, so this is the uh, channel name um, and this is our project name in which we are uh, we are uh, going to uh, we are going to create that means the name of the project we are going to create so let me uh, give spring boot uh, no let me give uh, the name spring boot sample uh, this is, will be more meaningful if we give um, sample so now this is the artifact name so basically um, this is the project structure you can say the name of the project structure and this is the name and uh, this is the description of the project and uh, this is the default package you can, we can say this is the default package uh, for our project and the packaging is jar or war in uh, so let uh, let us uh, keep it as jar because we will be running the application from the uh, eclipse itself so we'll uh, will not uh, use a separate um web server or web container to run it so so it's uh, better to keep it uh, as a jar and this is the version um of java in which you want to create the project okay now coming uh, to this this is the dependency this is the most um, required thing for any spring boot application because so by by adding this dependency we are um, instructing the um, maven or uh, we are uh, basically this is to add dependencies related to the spring boot uh, so let me add the required uh, spring boot to our dependencies for web application so this is the spring wave so you can see uh, we can see this um, build uh, web including restful application so this is spring web is the is the required dependencies uh, to uh, dependency to re, uh, to uh, to uh, create any web application and one more dependency i'll i'll uh, add so this is the spring boot dev tool 
because it's a pro it provides us uh, some additional things like live reloading and uh, faster uh, restart so uh, so this is required will uh, during the um, development so so this is required now uh, okay uh, after giving those information so we'll be we will be hitting the generate button to uh, uh, to generate our project okay so this is uh, this we have ready uh, we are ready with our project we'll be saving it as the as the spring boot uh, sample so let me go to the project uh, the download location now i'll be taking this uh, application to let me delete the previous one okay now this is with the this is the new one i'll be extracting it here basically this is uh, this is a um, marvin project right so to uh, okay here it is to open in our eclipse we have to um, uh, so this is a uh, this is basically a marvin project right so we have to import it in our eclipse as the marvin project so let me do it now we can so we can we have to uh, click the browse button so here you can see uh, this is the spring boot sample and this is the person okay let it be imported first okay now if the project is uh, project come up and uh, here you can so uh, so the all the required dependencies uh, is added for for our project okay so by default uh, that spring boot uh, initializer right so this will give us a class to run our uh, spring boot application so this is the main class from where our spring boot application will run so so this class is the um, entry point you can say for for any spring boot application basically uh, this uh, Spring Boot, right? Spring Boot uh, provides us the way to run uh, the Spring Boot application as a Spring uh, as a uh, standalone Java application. Okay, let me uh, let me run this application uh, by um, using the Java application, right? Runner. So okay, now the application is started up. You can see the started uh, log of the Spring Boot application and it is running at an 8080 port uh, of tomcat now uh, okay so the application is started up but uh, we have to find out the way to uh, to check whether this application is running or not so let me go to the uh, mm, go to the browser and uh, hit localhost um, 8080 port see the white label error is coming up that means the application is running but uh, there is no um, no path mapped for the uh, for for the root so let me uh, let me add a controller which will eventually return a text um, text uh, to the browser or to the, to the client uh, the hello world text now let me add a controller here let me add a controller here. This is the test controller. Let us name as test controller. Test controller. Now, so to define, okay. Now to define a controller, right? We have to give the rest controller. We have to give the annotation as rest controller. And uh, so th that's all to, uh, to notify the spring. This is a controller and uh, we have will uh, and the spring will read the um, read the add the red request mapping mappings from this class if that is a uh, annotated uh, with uh, rest controller or a controller so let me give define a define a um, method here so which will uh, eventually return a string uh, let's say the method name is uh, say hello Okay. Mm, say hello 
so this is a gate mapping so because we don't have any we don't have anything to post it so i am giving it as a rest mapping and uh, this is the root path i have given now i am returning return it's returning hello Now I'll check whether uh, this is coming in our browser uh, client or not. So because we are returning the Java Java um, tech guides right uh, as a string. So let me run it again. See uh, we can see the masses from here. So this is the this is all about uh, creating and running the uh, running the web application in Spring Boot if you like this if you uh, uh, if you uh, see this video is helpful please like and uh, subscribe for this channel thank you for watching